In this short video, I will be demonstrating how to convert PowerPoint slides into images that you can use to insert as a slideshow inside of a soft chalk lesson. The first thing you need to do is go ahead and open the PowerPoint presentation that you're going to be using, and then you're going to go to File and click Save As. From the Save As menu, Go ahead and change the destination to something like the desktop. That way it'll be easier for you to find where you place your files later. After you do that, you need to go ahead and go down here where it says save as type and change this from PowerPoint to JPEG. Once you got that done, you hit save. PowerPoint is going to ask you if you want to convert every slide or just the current slide. In this case, we want to convert every slide because we want to convert all of the slides in the deck to images. So I click every slide. PowerPoint goes ahead and convert all of the slides to images and place them in the desktop because that's the folder that we selected as the Save As location when we change the Save As uh, menu options. So now we're going to go ahead and click OK. And basically, we're done with this part of uh, creating uh, the slideshow inside of SoftChalk. Once you got your slides converted to images, you're going to go ahead and start SoftChalk and go to the Insert menu. From the Insert menu, select Activity and go down to Slideshow. From the Slideshow Activity window, click Select Folder and go back to your desktop where you save your images and select the folder where you have your images. Now you're going to click open and SoftChuck, as you can see here, is going to tell you that the eight images for the eight slides that you converted have been added to the deck. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now here I want to show you a couple of things because up here you got a slice tab, an options tab, and a metadata tab. Let's go into the Options tab for a second. Here you can uh, put instructions for the student as far as to what you want them to do with the slides and how to play the slides. The other thing that you need to uh, take a look at this here is uh, if you want to make this uh, fully ADA compliant, you need to type in here a description of what the slides are about. And that way if you have a student with a disability in your class, they'll be able to see the material as well. You need to have the display in line check, and that is so the actual slide will display inside of the lesson. And I'll show you what this does uh, when you have it checked and unchecked. Also, you need to uh, set your minimum slide duration. The default is five seconds, but I recommend you set it to something like eight. That way you give a chance for slow readers uh, to be able to read everything that you have in the slides. Once you got all this done, you click OK. And as you can see, you can see the inline slideshow activity placeholder. Now, let's right click on this for a second and click modify activity. If I go back to options and I uncheck the display in line, once I click OK, you see that changes to this, to the slideshow activity with a cursor on it, which is what your students are going to see as an indication that they need to click on that to see a slideshow activity. The preferred mode is the inline player, so I'm going to go ahead and modify this and select the display in line. I'm going to click OK again, and I'm going to go ahead and save this lesson. And I'm going to preview it in my browser. As you can see in the preview, your slideshow is now displayed. You have your instructions up here telling your students what they need to do, and down here you see the slideshow. The slideshow can be started automatically by hitting the play button, or your students can go through the slides by selecting which slide they want to see. Or they can go back if they need to go back. Okay. And that basically covers how to take a PowerPoint slide, convert into images, and then insert those images 
in Softshow as a slideshow. It's really helpful in creating content for your courses and it will really go a long ways toward making your course look really nice. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, please call me. I'm friendly and approachable and I'm here to help you. Take care and have a nice day.